Hey everybody, Melon here. Welcome back to another episode of the Melon Review. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of a bunch of new gear from Vancer. Now, if you haven't heard of Vancer before, they had a couple mice that released a couple years ago and then they kind of disappeared for a little while and now they are back with a bunch of new products and they were kind enough to send all of them over me to take a look at, so thank you very, very much to them. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the Trigger, the Vancer Groove, the Vancer Thrash, and their arm sleeve as well. Now, before we get into it, as always, this video will have timestamps in the video description if you're looking for a particular topic, and I will have full reviews on all these products coming out in a couple weeks after this video goes live. All right, but let's get started. First off, let's talk about the trigger, then we'll talk about the arm sleeve, and then we'll talk about the thrash and the groove. Alrighty, now the trigger is a very interesting pad. This is an experimental carbon fiber mouse pad. Now, funny enough, I actually had a similar idea a couple months ago where I was gonna use the bottom of a Serapad kin as a mouse pad, but that mouse pad base was just uneven, so it didn't really work that well. However, the one here on the Vanter trigger is actually quite even. Now, according to Vanter, the best use case for this is to put something called pledge on it, which is some kind of like leather care, I think. So I'm gonna have to get that spray and put it on this mouse pad to test it out and see how it feels. Without the pledge spray, it does feel very scratchy. Despite it being carbon fiber, it's supposed to be fast. It actually has a very, very high amount of friction on it. So definitely a bit of a unique pad for sure. I like the idea, but having to use pledge on it to actually make it usable isn't ideal, of course, but it's still a cool idea. The base also has like this kind of like soft rubber on the bottom of it. So it actually adheres itself to the desk really well, which is a really cool thing to see. So overall, the trigger is definitely a very interesting pad. Probably the most unique pad I think I've ever seen. It does remind me a lot of the MPET Tech Speed M, just of course executed a little differently, but I'll definitely try and get my hands on some pledge spray and I'll definitely try it out and see how it feels with that and see if it's an improvement. Now, another thing that was included with the packaging for the trigger was this little arm sleeve. Now, I don't know if Vancer is going to be selling these by themselves or if they're only come with the trigger. I actually think they should sell them separately because it turns out this is actually a really, really good arm sleeve. It is a little small. It is similar to the Pulsar ES sleeve in terms of its sizing because it only goes about to the end of my forearm, but despite the weird sizing on it, it actually does feel very solid. The stitching is very low friction, does feel very good, but it also has a dual silicone banding up at the top to keep it on your arm. I would love to see maybe a longer version or like a hand palm version or just some different versions of this because Vancer actually did a really, really good job with these. Of course, I still have to do a lot of testing to see how this arm sleeve actually fares in terms of performance and that kind of stuff, but based off of my first impressions, this arm sleeve actually does feel very, very solid. Alrighty, let's talk about the mice next. Now, I'm going to talk about what's included in the packaging before I talk about the individual mice just because the unboxing for the two of them is exactly the same. So, including the packaging you have a user manual that tells you how to use the mouse now as of right now there is no software for this mouse there is a web-based driver coming at some point but right now if you're going to want to change your dpi or your report rate or whatever else you want to change on the mouse you will need to do it via button combinations so be sure to keep your user manual on hand in case you need to change something on your mouse we also do have an extra set of stock skates now these are full-size stock skates there are no speed skates included but given the size of these mice that makes sense we also have an included set of grip tape now the grip tape actually feels pretty solid it has a decent texture to it it's not super grippy but it does give your hands enough friction to have a good anchoring on the mouse both the thrash and the groove do come with two click covers and two side covers and they do have this kind of unique texturing to them which is nice to see of course i'll have to test and see how this work with moisture and that kind of stuff for the full review but they do seem pretty okay out of the box and then we also have a usb a to c cable now this cable is very very rigid and has a very rough outer paracord wrapping it is usb c to a and it does appear to be a universal sizing which is nice to see but the cable is very very rigid to the point where i don't think you could reliably use this as a wired mouse just because the rigidity on the cable is so high maybe over time it will relax a little bit but it is definitely a little too high for my taste but given that it's a wireless mouse this isn't the end of the world and then lastly we have one of the unique selling points of the vancer mice which is their dongle now the dongle doubles as a 4 and 8k receiver but it also works as a little heads up display for your mouse so you can plug it in and it will show you information about your mouse like the battery level what kind of report rate it's using on dpi whether their god mode wireless is on or off what the lod is all the information about your mouse you can see on this little dongle which is a really really cool feature i wish more brands would do this but it's a really really cool thing to see here on both the vancer groove and the vancer thrash all right well that's everything for what's included with the mice let's talk about the mice themselves next all right now let's talk about the thrash first now the thrash is a symmetrical mouse but it is a very thick and tall symmetrical mouse the sides are very similar to something you'd see on like an ergo mouse does that make sense it's a very tall shape kind of like an x2h if the front was a little taller but a very similar-esque shape now the sizing is 123.3 millimeters by 62.3 millimeters by 39.8 millimeters now according to the packaging here Vanser is saying that these mice are coming in at 47 plus minus 2 grams now my thrash is actually weighing at 50.33 grams with the stock skates now I have a feeling that the weight on the box is out of date just because again that's pretty far out of the plus minus 2 gram range but regardless of the inconsistencies with the weight advertisements I still actually don't mind the weight at all it's right in the middle of that golden range of 45 to 55 grams so the weight is completely fine in my opinion now the shape is what really got me interested in the thrash because this shape is actually very very similar to the Zowie U2 
Now, the Zabu U2 is a mouse I liked the idea of, but the shape was just horribly executed on that mouse, and it just was very difficult for me to use. However, the shape here on the Thrash is much, much better executed. The hump is a little more pronounced, but the sides of the mouse aren't as inwardly curved, so it does give you a lot of flexibility in terms of grip style, and it is very, very comfortable for me to do a claw grip on on my 7.5 by 5 inch hands. It does actually feel very, very solid across the board, which is really nice to see. The buttons on the unit also feel very solid across the board. They are using one of blue shell pink dots for the main buttons. I'll figure out what the rest of the specs are for the full review, of course. But overall, no real issues with the button feeling because everything on the unit feels very solid. I also really do like this really unique texturing on the scroll wheel. It does feel very good as well. But overall, the Thrash is definitely a very, very interesting mouse. Again, I really do like the similarity to the Zawi U2 shell, just of course, this one's executed a lot better. I hope I don't run into the same issues I did run into on the Zawi U2 over testing, but I'll have to talk about that more in the full review. Alrighty, and then next up, we have the Groove. Now, the Groove is another symmetrical mouse. It is coming in at 125 millimeters long, 64.5 millimeters wide, and 38.2 millimeters tall. Now, in terms of weight, the Groove is advertised as coming in at 47 plus minus 2 grams, but my unit comes in at 51.22 grams, so again, a little over, but still well within that golden ratio of 45 to 50 grams. The shape is what really caught my eye here, again, about the Groove, because the Groove has this very long, extended rear hump that is very similar to the hump we found on the Steel Series Sensei 10, and another mouse that I just covered recently that I was a really, really big fan of, the Wise Owl Cloud. Now, it turns out that this shape is basically the exact same as the Wise Owl Cloud, however, it's thinner on the sides. Now, I love the Cloud, it was a great mouse. It was just very big and kind of bulky, and it was a very wide mouse, so it made it kind of awkward to do some movements with, but here on the Groove, it's essentially the same shape, but it's a little thinner, which makes it a lot more optimized, in my opinion, for different movements, and it does feel very, very comfortable in my hands. Again, it is a little longer than the Thrash, but it's less taller, it's more flat, if that makes sense. Now, in terms of button feel, if I'm not mistaken, the Thrash and the Groove are using the exact same buttons across the board, and all the internal specs are the exact same. I will, of course, confirm that for the full review, but the buttons on the Groove feel exactly the same to the Thrash. Maybe some slight differences in terms of pre and post travel, but the implementation overall does feel very good across the board on both mice. Now, I did want to talk about some other features that are on both of these mice. Now, both of these mice are using a PAW 3395 and a Nordic 52840 MCU. Both of the mice do have 4K polling by default out of the box via the special dongle. They are also getting 8K down the line with a new firmware update. Now I'm assuming that's going to be coming with the web-based software, which hasn't been released yet. I will talk about the 8K polling rate and the web-based software in the full review. I'm hoping it's going to be released by the time I put on my final review, so I'll talk about it in those videos. Now both of these mice are using one of Vancer's features called God Mode. Now this is supposed to be like an enhanced wireless mode, kind of like a high speed mode, I guess you could say, that we found on the Prime PM1, the Sora V2, and the Wise Owl Cloud. But unfortunately, I don't know how to activate it on these mice, or I don't know if it's activated by default. Again, with the web-based software, I'll be able to test it on and off, so I'll talk about that more in the full review. Now, another thing that the, both the Thrash and the Groove are sharing is the coating. The coating actually feels very, very similar to the Death Adder V3's coating. It kind of has that like porous look to it. Very, very similar to that coating. Does perform very well. I don't think it's as good as the Razer coating, but it's very, very close, which I'm completely fine with, but it does feel very solid across the board. But that's pretty much everything in terms of first impressions and unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple runs in Kovacs and see how these mice feel, and I'll be back for some final first impressions. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I did a couple runs in Kovacs with both the Thrash and the Groove. I ran them both at 1K polling and 1600 DPI, which is my normal setup. I'll test the high polling rate for my full review, but I just want to do a rough, like, baseline first impressions here for this video. Now, in terms of performance, both the Thrash and the Groove performed pretty much exactly the same. The only difference between them is going to be the shape and the weight, of course. Now, again, I will say I definitely have a bit of a bias towards the Groove, just because it's a little longer and it has that long, elongated rear hump, which just makes it really comfortable for claw grip. But the Thrash still does feel very good as well, just a little differently, I guess. I'll have to do a lot more testing in terms of comparing the shapes and feel, find out which one works best. If I had to guess, I'm going to say the Groove is going to be better for bigger hands and the Thrash is going to be better for like medium to small hands. But I'll talk about that more in the full review of those mice respectively. But overall, I'm actually very impressed. Both the Thrash and the Groove do perform extremely well. I'm very interested to see how this web-based software works and how this God mode wireless works and how the AK pulling rate implementation is on these mice. I'm hoping that's all that is all going to be released very soon, but I will talk about that more in the full review. But that's going to be everything for my quick unboxing and first impressions of the Vancer Thrash, the Vancer Groove, and the Trigger mouse pads. Thank you very much again to Vancer for sending all this out for me to take a look at. I greatly appreciate it. As always, with all my unboxing videos on the channel, I will have much more in-depth reviews on each of these products coming out in a couple weeks. And for the Thrash and the Groove, I will have teardown videos for those mice coming out as well. So if you want to see a much more in-depth review of all these products and a teardown of the mice, be sure to get subscribed so you don't miss those videos coming out in a little bit. But that's everything for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.